Do you think you're a strong chess player? If you can solve this puzzle in under five minutes, you probably are. This is one of my favorite puzzles. It's white to move in this position, so feel free to pause the video if you want to try and solve it. For the rest of the video, I'll first give some clues, then I'll go through the solution with arrows, and then I'll go through it moving the pieces. So hopefully you notice that white's down a bit of material. We're up against a queen, but we have a strong passed pawn, which is only two squares from queening. So the first move, the first clue, is that the first move is quite obviously c7. Sorry, I won't draw arrows just for the moment. So c7 to save the pawn. And then in puzzles, we always have to look for the strongest move for the opponent. And black obviously wants to stop the pawn from queening, but at the same time support this passed pawn of their own. So black's best move after c7 is queen c6. And this is where it gets a bit tricky. Okay. Now it's still a bit obvious, actually. The second move is to defend the pawn with bishop g3. And then black can't really do much about the pawn. It's defended well, so they have to start pushing their pawn. And this is where it gets tricky. Yeah, this is where it seriously gets tricky. So we'd ideally want to defend c8 with our rook to be able to queen. But if we play rook, C8, uh, rook f8 immediately, hopefully you notice that the rook and the king are on a forkable square being c5, because now this pawn's on c4. And so rook f8 would lose the rook to queen c5 check, picking up the rook and defending the queening square. So the third move is quite key, and the third move is to prepare rook f8 by moving the king to h2, where it's very safe. Uh, so there's some clues, and the final clue is that at the end of the line, which is about seven or eight moves long, uh, we end up with a queen, and black ends up with two queens, but we still win. White still wins. So now I'll go through the solution with arrows. First move, c7, queen c6, best move from black, bishop g3 to protect the pawn, c4 from black, preparing, trying to queen as fast as possible, king h2, the key move to get out of the fork. Black continues to push with, with c3. Now we play rook f8, preparing to queen. Black can't stop it, so they try and make their own queen with c2. We queen, c8 equals queen. Black also queens, c1 equals queen. So black's now got two queens, we've only got one. But it's our move, which is always important. And we have queen f5, check. Forcing g6, uh, sorry, not forcing g6. g6 would lead to maiden 1 with queen f7. So we force queen g6 to block the check. Now we always look for checks... We always look for checks, basically, in every position, right? And we have rook h8 check, forcing the king away from the defense of the queen. And after king takes rook, we take the queen on g6, and we're up a piece, because it's now... Black's just got their lone queen, which they just made. We've got a queen on g6, and the bishop. And that's more than enough to take care of this single pass pawn that black has at the end. So now I'll go through it, moving the pieces. So it's good practice to visualize... The, the, the entire solution or variant, variation. So yeah, maybe I shouldn't draw arrows or you should try and pause the video and go through that entire sequence without any help. But now I'll just go through it quickly, moving the pieces. So c7, queen c6, bishop g3 to protect the pawn. Black has to just push. King h2, key move, because rook f8 here loses to this check. So we have to go king h2. Black continues to push, now rook f8, black continues, we queen, black queens, so we're currently down a queen, but queen f5, again if g6, this is checkmate in one, black has to block, rook h8, very nice, removing the defender, king takes, we take the queen, and we're up a piece. Hopefully you enjoyed this puzzle, it's one of my favorites, as I think I said. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more chess videos, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.